than their, their start. 184, uh, they start to uh, Mahmoudov's uh, 193 centimeters. And uh, he's uh, a lot heavier as well, 110 kilos to Nistar's 103. So you can see where the problems uh, might lie for Nistar. But having said that, Nistar very quick on his feet. I want to get in there quickly. He's a very aggressive fighter, is uh, behind Nistor. But uh, Mahmoudov, he lost in season two to uh, Clemente Russo in the final. And uh, just 24, he was with uh, Moscow uh, Kremlin, uh, Bears and then Dynamo Moscow. Uh, the Azerbaijan Baku fires for moving around a uh, young boxer as well with plenty of experience but uh, it's Mihai Nister his uh, second home appearance for the Thunder this year the main in he won against the Ottomans in week nine in Jela as well and that uh, as we said before was in the the whitewash uh, for the Thunder. So again, his experience in these situations invaluable. His other two bouts were on the road in Argentina and America, where he won both of those, a five and three record in the World Series of Boxing to uh, Mahmoudov's uh, four and two. So not a lot of difference between the two in the, the number of uh, the fights uh, they've had, and uh, you can see the difference there. That he is a man mountain, isn't he? Mark Mudov, university champion, uh, world unique champion in 2010. Super heavyweights, big division. Big shots coming in, and uh, Mahmoudov towering over Nistor. Nistor want to work inside, work the body. Nistor, the south port, against the orthodox uh, stance there. Of, uh, Mahmoudov. <laughs> Mahmoudov's got the big left. We want to par over the top. And that's a wonderful strike, wasn't it? With the right, he's coming aggressive. Needs to coming out with the right, the left. Mahmoudov on the ropes. He's been rattled here. Clears his head. Well, Nister wants to finish this in the first round. Can he do it? He's unsettling. Mahmoudov can't hold him back. He's all over his place, all over the place. His senses have gone completely. Nister, a whirlwind, a start. Mahmoudov trying to shake the cobwebs out of his head. Refocus. Bring himself back to the here and now. A shuddering blow he took, but he stood his ground, but he's hanging in there. He doesn't really know where he is, does he? The referee looking closely to make sure that he's uh, still with us. Just fighting from instinct. And he's starting. Nullifying the, uh, the height and weight difference by getting inside. Unleashing the big combination of right really did the damage. Still be having to set up with the left, which he does again. In the corner, there's that right clubbing the side of the head. Rudolph hanging in there. Will he even survive the first round? He's not moving. He's caught again. He's into the, the ropes. Gain his senses. Find out where he is. 
He's hanging in there, that's all he's doing. Easter can just uh, stand back for a second. He comes in again with a left. Well, that's just a tactic now. It's a, a little bit cumbersome from Easter. He'll be a little bit smarter now. Got the opportunity. He's got him, the man rattled. He'll stay off a little while. He's then come in because Mudov still isn't 100% back in this fight at all. He's shaking his head. He's stumbling around. In the dark here. What a first round. Well, that's why uh, Lehi Nistor is brought in for this uh, match. Aggression from the first seconds. Rudolph was uh, just hanging in there. Instinct more than anything. When he got the chance, holding on, knowing he needed to survive the first round. Couldn't. They allowed to be uh, sent to the canvas early on. Second down. Well, should see uh, things got about right. 10 8. Dominant from Meester. Rudolph. Second round. to regain his senses. Trying to get back in this Nistor. We want to come forward aggressive again. Can afford to be. Rudolf just doesn't seem to be at the races here at all. Can you blame him? He took that uh, sharp right to the side of the head. Dulled the senses. To shake it off. He's uh, a little bit more mobile now. Keep Easter at uh, arm's length. Easter coming in again. It's the same way. In the combination in the uppercut. Free allowing that to go. Rightfully so. Still room to get the shot away. for uh, this for this season. And his aggression has paired off. And Mudov. And he's laid a glove on him. Has to be said. This is a sort of dominant performance that the Thunder were looking. In the first two matches gives everyone a lift. The rest of the team to go out there and uh, really uh, produce a miracle evening, as they were saying here. Everyone's saying to me, is this the, the miracle of uh, Campione d'Italia? At the moment, it's looking good for the Thunder. Uh, excellent right again. Straight through the guard. And Mahmoudov unable to provide any sense of defence whatsoever. I just do not think he's uh, really there. His sharpness of mind, certainly not. So cumbersome. And Meester. Such a big man. Dancing around. He's uh, able to hold his man at uh, a distance as well. And Rudolph trying to open up finally. Connects with the right. It's uh, a respite. Or is it uh, a comeback from the Fires boxer? Going into the third round, we're coming to the end of the second. So Minister again will have won that. And uh, a few little problems with the bell has to be said. Just, uh, didn't hear the bell there, but uh, certainly that's a uh, round again. Going to Nistor. That's 
see any other way. But, uh, just feel like Nistra needs to be a little bit more, um, just a little bit clever. I don't think he can get away with these tactics for five rounds. And, uh, you can see uh, Mahmouda finding his range. Uh, he certainly won't feel as if he's out of it now that he's uh, back with a clear head for that first round. So, uh, he's taking the first two rounds into the third. Moment of truth, one feels in this match. Easter again, aggressive at the start, but uh, Mike Rudolph's back with us. Forearm. The referee immediately uh, telling off there. Judges will have noted that, and Easter replies with another big right. And he's done it each of the three rounds so far. The right has done the damage early on. And he's moving a lot better now, Easter. Gotta be careful he doesn't walk into a big right himself and uh, produces the left that we were waiting for. And immediately, uh, Rudolph's on the back foot again. Another right from Easter. Gonna work inside. Rudolph tying him up once more. Finds a rare right that connects. Easter comes forward, bullying his way into, uh, towards Mike Rudolph, who just stepped out of the way. And the Romanian is uh, very aggressive, as expected. That is his style. It's paid off. Match now in the third round. The fighters expended a lot of energy. <laughs> he started leaning into uh, Rudolph as if he's holding up a big tree, trying to push him back. It's falling over on towards him. And, uh, now he comes inside and tries to rake a big left. And, uh, it's uh, more towards the shoulder area. That won't uh, affect that mood off too much. But, uh, a bit of a pushing match. A bit of blood there on the knee stuck. Still out of the nose. But, uh, in this third round, we haven't seen uh, too many uh, clear shots to impress the judges. He needs to be more aggressive again, which uh, certainly that's the way the judges like things here. And that's better from Nisto. The, le the left and the right did the damage just before the bell, but enough there to take that round. That was an excellent uh, finish to that third round from uh, match but uh, of course I'd like to get it uh, all done before the end there's uh, Clemente Russo in the crowd Bacardi as well watching on nothing they can do this evening fourth round Easter comes out again and immediately comes forward once more so well in control
left, working away. Rudolph unable to hold him back. He still continues to score. As if his energy levels have dropped, and he's a very thick boxer. Up there, though, on the right. Straight back in with it, a right of his own. And uh, it's a much better uh, fourth round from both boxers. Finally, uh, Rudolf opening up. Oh, not, uh, not gonna go for broke, really. It's the left through. He's just keeping his distance. Just stealing himself for another onslaught. to Mike Rudolph any good whatsoever. Walks inside with the left. Comes forward again. That's it. Big right across the top and the combination down below. Rudolph holds on. Rudolph once again, hanging in there, but uh, he's behind with the judges. And his tactics won't adhere him to uh, his judges either in the scoring. And there's a good left from Nistor. Working inside as well, scoring well, and getting in close. Already done the damage. Good tactical performance from Nistor. A wild left there, though. Could have left himself open. Just when we say that. Once again, Rudolph. One scoring shot. In his fourth round. It's knee start all the way. Where Mike Rudolph's going to come out victorious, and this is. Uh, to stop his man, but Nistar looks in complete control. And uh, you wonder really where uh, Mike Mudov's going to pick something special from. Certainly when he, he's got the shots away, they, they haven't really connected. He hasn't got a clean one at all. Not a lot of power coming from those uh, shoulders, is there? Well, it's all different from Nistar. It's uh, rock solid from the shoulders, pushing upwards and uh, then Unleashing the little short rights and lefts, scoring easily. And you can see they're in complete control, and uh, as we've seen this evening, the judges, uh, they just lap that up. They'll score that uh, all in Easter's way in this fourth round. You can see they're well ahead. Mihai Easter. Fifth and last round. Back, uh, Mike Mudov needs to pull out the, the big uh, clubbing right to stop Nistor. The other things have been going, it's been more uh, a wrestling match, a grappling match than the, the boxing. That's down to Mike Mudov's tactics. Nistor's uh, trying to open things up. But uh, Nistor doesn't need to take any risks in this fifth round. If uh, Magnudov wants to continue grappling, so be it. So not far behind on the points, not going to make any difference. Still staying out of range again. Well, Magnudov's had two technical knockouts. And uh, he's not going to get a points win. That uh, no, his final round. But, uh, you've got to say that uh, Dolce and Gabbana, Italia Thunder, just going about their job in a quiet, 
Audrey man of them got caught up in the emotion of uh, clawing their way back. They've just picked off uh, each of the matches. This is the second heading towards victory here, and there's something dramatic happens, which it could well do. And Neister caught out of the blue. Rudolph suddenly produces something he was able to do in the previous five rounds is to get the standing count for Neistor. Well, maybe we were all just getting a little bit lackadaisical there. And Neistor has to come and be aggressive again. He's, a four, he's well ahead on the points. He can't afford to be caught once more. He cannot afford to be stopped. That is basically it. And he's being clubbed all over the place. He's down! Neister's down! No, it's not given. He said, no, I slipped. The referee agrees with him, but I don't know about that. That was so close to a knockdown. Well, I would like to see the replays there. Neister hanging in here. I hope I didn't lull you into a false sense of security either. And this is what World Series of Boxing's all about! Oh my goodness me! McMurdoff has produced the clubbing rat. Neister's gone! He cannot get up! This is a shock of shocks! It's all over! McMurdoff was out, he'd gone! He was out on points! He has to go to the neutral corner. Neister's finished, he's gone! It's all over! The Dolce Gabbana Italia Thunder have lost Neister! has been taken out, he wants to continue, he has to go to the this corner. He says he's OK, he can continue. The referee doesn't believe so. Oh, my goodness me, what drama. Incredible drama here tonight. Neister was coasting to victory, coasting. That is the only word we were talking about the next bout. Everything had gone in, suddenly, the big right, out of nowhere. Where did he produce that right? Mahmoudov, the real Mahmoudov, he's been hiding away all evening, and suddenly those combinations, look at that, Neister was stopped. He had to take the standing count, this is where he needed to stay out of the way, stay out of trouble, but he was left open, he was caught. He said there that he'd slipped. OK, he's a lot away with that. Let's see the next one. Not there. Look at that side of the head. He's down like a rock. Crumbling. Look at the legs disappearing. Gone completely. And look at that face. It is despair. Francesco Damiani. He was a heavyweight. He knew that... Neistor had it in the bag. But unbelievable, Arslan Beck. Mahmoudov, he was out. Not literally out, out in terms of points. Instead of which, he knocked out me, that Neistor. Incredible. That's it. The fires are through. And Neistor cannot believe, I don't think he's got his senses. And right at the start of the first round, Mahmoudov was gone, he was a spent force. And look for all the world, he didn't know where he was the first two rounds. He regained his senses. But even in the fifth, we're already talking about an easy victory for the Thunder, instead of which Neistor climbs out of the, the ring, a beaten man sent to the canvas drama here world series of boxing this evening incredible second fight